Hello and welcome to the Marvelous Enlightenment channel. I am Marv and this is going to be the Scorpio season three card lesson for the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, the horoscope section of this particular reading will apply mostly to you if you are Cancer, Sun, and Rising. Um, however, the card section will be available and my, intuit my intuitive messages will apply to no matter where you have a cancer placement, but the astrology, the horoscopes that I'm going to be reading today, and I will link below because I like what they had to say. Um, that's going to be if you are sun and rising, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to set the card placements up in the second cancer, but before I do, I want to say thank you so much if you are here by way of readings by Marvelous Madame Taro or any of my other channels. Thank you. Cancer, you have your own channel. Please go and watch your Scorpio season 2022 comprehensive reading on your own channel. Right now, the planned schedule is monthly comprehensive readings. Those readings are over an hour long. Go and check them out. Let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, I did um, grab your, um, your cards off camera. We will be getting into that. But first, Cancerian, when the sun slid into Scorpio, it is illuminating your fifth house, okay? And the fifth house is the house of, hold on, is your house of romance, your Leo house, okay? This particular house is going to have you um, in the energy of several different um, uh, things as far as romance and I do know that the um, the one th the houses one through six is a personal house. Let's get into it. Um, the fifth house is ruled by Leo. It is um, self-expression, drama, creativity, color, attention, romance, and play. Just to give you a little bit of that. Um, your professional goals may be changing right now as you contemplate your future and second guess your past career choices, Cancer. You'll find yourself more drawn up to um, charitable work or something that's going to uh, put you in the mindset of giving back. Um, you're being guided to try to incorporate humanitarian efforts into the current job if you can. For example, starting a food or clothing drive um, or something like that. Um, your horoscope is saying that it will take you down more of a humanitarian um, effort, which can inspire, in turn, inspire a new career path. The truth is, is that your, ten your tender and gracious heart wants to give others financial help, even if it causes you to be in a financial pinch. And that is what the horoscope is for you. Let's get into your message this month. First of all, I did get you a um, numerology card. You did get the card of I am successful in the number of eight. I am successful. Your talent in your setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions, Cancerian. Eight is representative of the ebb and flow of the infinite loop of creation. I am successful, okay? Also in your energy as we set up the card placements, the first card represents a lesson. Um, which is the cornerstone of this reading, Cancer. Um, it may be made evident, okay, but it may not have been learned or embraced, all right? This card signifies the essence of the lesson for which no progress will be made unless it is addressed and dealt with and that is success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So it looks like you need to love what you do. It also could be indicating that there is some type of bigger story right now, which has a lot to do with your relationships, okay? The second card represents the energy right now that is aware um, in your energy, whether you are aware of it or not, and that is worrying. I am learning that learning does not change an outcome. So you are worrying about something as far as being successful, either in your work or in your personal relationships. The third card is the long range lesson to be learned, and that is purpose. I know what I am here to do. Um, the top of the deck did show happiness. Um, and I am aware that being, that being happy means that I am on the right path. You're worrying about something. What was interesting is, is that you got two success cards. You will be successful and you're being guided not to worry about that. Okay, Cancer. Your success 
it's already written in the stars, all right? I am going to get them a card from the answer, a simple deck, and send you out of here. Whatever is coming your way this month during this Scorpio season, you will be successful. Um, you're being guided to love your body. Some of your success, worry, purpose, and happiness is linked to the way you view yourself and your self-image. Um, this also ties back to some things that happened during childhood. Two and two is four. So that was the way that you were raised. You're being guided to dare to be happy. Six, seven, eight. That is that eight again. All right. There is something that you're worrying about as far as a person or a situation. You're being guided to understand that worrying does not change the outcome. Okay. You have gotten happiness and success double time here, Cancer. All right. This love your body card has a lot to do with your esteem. Um, when and how you were raised. Okay. And then we have you are not afraid again worrying and afraid and um this is 10 so that's it the the completion of the cycle is coming to a close all right and then really quickly i am going uh oh i am going to get a couple of messages of closure this is going to put you in touch with your ancestors or it is going to be talking about a relationship i am so proud of you so someone that is looking down that may not be um, here with you anymore, Cancerian, is very proud of what you are doing. Please forgive yourself. There is something that you did not do that you're being guided to forgive yourself. And I support your path. Whoever is looking down upon you, they love you. They're encouraging you to move forward. They're proud of you. So whoever this is that you have lost that is coming through as far as your ancestors, um, you're being guided to press forward and don't be afraid, okay? Dare to be happy, all right? You are on the right path um, of success. Stop worrying and your purpose um, and you will be successful. That is your card. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for coming and watching your lesson. And I will see you in Sagittarius season, Cancerian. Bye, guys. Remember, your um, angel number, if you, if you want to watch it, I will be linking it below in the description box. Bye, guys.